What's up, everybody? Hey, baby blossoms and titans. What's going on? Tonight is a very, very magical night for me. I am making and uh, uploading um, videos. I'm feeling in the mood. It's like a very quiet day. Um, very chill, laid back. And I said, well, if I feel this way, let me get some energy. I had some time, so I'm recording some videos, okay? So tonight... Hold on, guys. Let me plug up my item. We are talking about um, metals. Yes, metals. I'm going different, y'all. People don't talk about the metals and minerals in the spiritual community and the spiritual workings. So this video is in the aspect of metals in the occult. Let me show you guys my new doom. Y'all look, I am writing, let me turn it on. So, if I could turn, hold on. Let me see, can I turn the light off so you guys can see it. Hold on one second. Look, this here, it has that. Um, forgot how to change it. Oh, here we go. And then when you type that, I got this guess to do some um keyboarding and typing whenever I'm do taking a spiritual bath or when I'm outside. Can turn my lights back on when I'm outside. When we go to the park, I take it with me. So when I write, I am like in tune, honey. So I just want to show y'all my new gadget. So let's talk about some metals. Metals. Now, getting into it, like minerals, metals can also be used for magical intentions. While sometimes available in a raw form, Metals are most likely to be to be worked with in the form of jewelry or other tools. We can empower anything metallic as part of a magical spell and wear it, wear it without anyone knowing our magic is at work. Take my jade. Hmm? Take jade happiness bringing in love abundance type of stone i wear this i never take this off okay um gold abundance prosperity here silver we're going to talk about silver it's under the moon element we gonna talk about that my um well this is love that's my wedding ring but let's start off with gold. We're going to talk about gold. You guys may want to write this down. If you don't know the um, magical metals, I'm going to give you the elements, the meanings, a lot of quick things about it. So you may want to get a pen and a piece of paper because I'm dropping some gems. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about gold first. Now, gold is up under the fire, the fire element and the sun sign. Gold is the king of metals. What alchemists were seeking in their spiritual transformations, gold is the king of all metals. It is the symbol of enlightenment and the sovereign, the king or the queen. It is used for success, health, happiness, wealth, power, and spiritual um, evolution. Gold is the metal of the God. So if you're wearing gold, if I don't know if you know, this is the metal of the God. If you're seeking enlightenment or a sovereign, like you want to walk like a king or a queen, you want some success, bring in good health, happiness, power of all, wear gold. Okay, next we're going to talk about silver in alchemy. So silver, this is my silver Pandora bracelets. It has that, I love that noise. 
but silver is under the water element and the moon sign. I am a moon witch. I attune to the moon in every aspect of my life. I was telling someone on my last video, I was stating that inside of the moon, when I attune to the moon, it is where my creativity comes in. It is where I um, write best when I go sit up under the stars and the moon, the celestial things that just cleans and cleanses and clears my mind. That is where I listen to good music. I tune out. I'm more um, at a level like this when the moon is out and I'm sitting in out in, in the night, cool air. That is me. When I am sort of like depressed, I go for the sun. Okay. Or if I'm feeling a little melancholy, I might go, I want it to be sunny. No clouds in the sky, full sunlight. That is my energy. But the moon is more my creativity and how I really attune. I do a lot, a lot of moon magic. So silver is the metal of the moon. Wearing it enhances psychic abilities. As silver conducts psychic energy and helps store the blessings of the moon. It can also be used in magic for fertility, creativity, I said that, and emotional healing as well, okay, for me. It is the metal of the goddess, makes sense for me, and it helps us follow our soul's path in this life okay it helps us to follow our soul's path in this life and that is silver under the water in the moon sign all right next up quicksilver now quicksilver we'll talk about that in a minute i remember this when we were very when i was very young it is under the air element and the mercury um sign quicksilver or liquid mercury you remember that little ball i think it was in science school science where it was a little a ball of silver or quicksilver and it moved in your hand that is that stuff that i'm talking about that's quicksilver it is called liquid mercury and it captures our fascination because it is the only metal that is liquid at a room temperature. So it is very dangerous as well and highly toxic. And it is easily absorbed into your skin, which creates all sorts of sensory neurological and nervous problems, all of which the planet Mercury rules over. We do not recommend using mercury in magic unless it's in a tightly sealed bottle and left unopened. I do not recommend working with mercury or quicksilver in magic unless it's in a tightly sealed bottle and left unopened. Y'all, I played with that shit when I was younger. Not play with it like that, but it did. I, I remember doing it like this back and forth in my hand and nobody ever said that it was highly toxic. You, you When you don't know, you don't know. But now I know, so I just told y'all. All right, next up, we're talking about copper. Now, guys, I'm, I have copper bracelets as well. Let me show you those. I wear these. They're charging right now on my altar. These are my copper bracelets. Right here. Those are my copper bracelets. I love these bracelets. So I'm just letting them charge right now. Okay. Um, copper is under the um, earth as well as the air element. And it is under the Venus sign. Copper is the metal of love. It tarnishes green, the color of Venus. Used in the form of copper jewelry worn near the joints to treat aches and pains. It is also a metal that attracts love and luxury to us. 
I might put them on tomorrow. <laughs> Today, copper is most easily found in mineral shops, but it can also be found in U.S. pennies prior to 1982, fun fact, but such pennies must be cleansed and neutralized of all previous energies before using them for magic. And that is copper. Now my bracelets, I found in a metaphor, metal, metaphysical shop um, around the corner called um, Infinity's Inn. If you have an Infinity's Inn near you, they, have, they do have copper bracelets. That's where I got all of mine from. All right, so next up, we're going to talk about iron. Iron. How y'all say iron? Iron. I'm country, so work with me. I-R-O-N, okay? Iron. It is an earth and fire element, and it's under the sign of Mars. So iron can come in the form of iron powder, often called lewd stone food. I never knew that. As these iron shavings are used to feed loose stones for magic that is you that is used to draw wealth and other desires to the natural magnet. So a loose stone or lodestone, I said loose stone, is a natural magnet and you feed it. You feed it, okay? Um, iron can also come in the form of an antique iron nails. Iron is also sometimes called the blood of the earth as it oxides as rust, um, red rust. So it can turn into red rust, which is true. Um, traditionally, iron is used in magic for protection as well as defense. It's a component of the witch's bottle spell for protection. If you do it that way, I don't, well, no, that's not true. I do use um, nails in my witch's bottle. So that might be, that's made of iron, right? It's turned to rust. Huh, didn't know that. Now I know. It is said that fairies usually shun iron. If you're working with fairy magic and you're doing fairy spell jars, do not use iron. But it is also used to disrupt unwanted spirits and energies. Okay? Steel and alloy alloy of iron has specific or similar magical properties but many find that pure iron itself is best for magic okay all right so next up let's talk about some tin tin t-i-n so water fire and air is the element and jupiter is the uh, ruling planet Tin is a silvery, shiny metal that is both malleable and ductile, and is considered more brittle than some of the other metals. It has crystalline structure, and when bent, emits a sound as the structure is disrupted. That sound is known as a tin cry. I never knew that. We learned it today, honey. Ruled by Jupiter, Tin invokes the power of prosperity, abundance, as well as good fortune. It is useful in any type of legal matters as well. And in the past, tin, tin was easily available through actual tin cans. But today's most cans are made from steel. You're right about it. Tin cans used to be readily available because of everything, a lot of food used to come in tin cans. Y'all remember that. So now it's, a lot of things are made out of steel. Traditional tin foil is not easy, easily available. It has been replaced with aluminum foil. Now my grandma and them used to use tin foil. Tin can still be obtained. So tin cans can still be obtained through chemical supply shops if you're looking to do that type of work. So now we're going to talk about lead. It is an earth element and it's under the um, planetary sign of Saturn. Lead is a soft, heavy, malleable metal that was used throughout the ancient world, both in magic and con in construction. Unfortunately, lead is toxic and is considered a neurotoxin that builds up in the tissue and bones, leading to the disorders of the brain and nervous system. 
Today, it is used in building, buildings and alloys, but most of us experience it as a radiation shield, particularly when getting x-rays. Now, less nature, nature is protective as well as serves as a barrier as all things toxic have the properties of setting boundaries between what is safe and what is harmful. Lead is also um, a metal of silence to help you listen to your inner voice. We're gonna talk about aluminum next. So aluminum, aluminum, aluminum foil. <laughs> that's, that's what I know it as. So aluminum is under the air and water sign. It has three ruling planets. It's Mercury, Uranus, as well as Neptune. And aluminum is sometimes used as a substitute for quicksilver, which we read, around, read about already. And it is reflective and therefore associated with magical mirrors, scrying, and reflection. Some use it with or in place of a magical mirror for psychic scrying, communication, as well as protection. Due to its lightness, it can help you feel uplifted and free when you would otherwise feel bound and too grounded in your problems. Various magicians have associated aluminum with either Neptune or Uranus. Aluminum is now considered toxic and should not be used in food preparation. So I guess aluminum foil is not really aluminum foil because I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That was just a, 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 a random thought. All right. So next up, we're going to talk about brass, baby. Brass. So brass is under the air and fire elements. It is a sun, Venus, as well as Uranus planetary sign brass is an alloy of copper as well as zinc it is an excellent conductor of all forms of magical energy so all forms of magical energy brass candlestick holders are the best due to its conductive nature due to the golden color it is associated with the sun and can be a substitute for true gold, though its copper gives it a natural affinity to Venus and its zinc to Uranus as well. Next, we're going to talk about bronze. Bronze. I've never had anything. Yes, I did. Y'all remember them Egyptian um, bangles and you close them? Those were made out of brass, I think. Or bronze I don't remember but I had those and I used to have like 10 of them on I love them today I don't know where they at I got to get me some more <clears throat> one thing about so if y'all want to support me I love bracelets I love love bracelets so bronze bronze is under a fire and air sign in this elemental or planetary um, planet is Venus as well as Jupiter bronze is an alloy alloy of copper and tin together though some alloys that are a mix of copper with some other metals such as aluminum are sometimes bronze so sometimes it's mixed with copper and tin as well as copper and aluminum making it bronze brass and bronze are often mistaken for each other hence to why i can't tell you those bracelets that i used to have but i know it was one or the other while they have similar appearances, they are different energetically. Bronze mixes the energies of two of the most beneficial planets, Venus and Jupiter, bringing in beauty, success, and self-confidence in magic. So you'll use bronze for that. Now this one I've never heard of. It's called Electrum. It is under the fire and water sign. It is E-L-E-C-T-R-U-M, Electrum. Have you guys ever heard of that? I have. So it's under the fire and water sign. It's under the um, planetary sun and the moon. And Electrum, Electrum is an alloy made mostly of gold and silver. 
It can occur naturally with other metals, particularly copper, though it has been created artificially and used in magical talisman and tools. It balances the properties of the sun and the moon, male and female, active and receptive. So it's more like a unisex type of vibe to it, right? More like a yin to the yang, the black to the white. Magic is neither black or white. That's what I get out of it. Hmm. Next, we're going to talk about pewter. So pewter is under the air and the earth element, planetary signs as Jupiter as well as Saturn. And pewter is a tin alloy traditionally made by mixing tin and lead together. Though today, most pewter is lead free. I sell those talismans um, that's lead, lead free and they're made of pewter. All of mine that I have those as well in the shop and is an alloy of mainly tin mixed with copper, atoma, at, and Atimony, let me spell it, honey, A-N-T-I-M-O-N-Y, and even silver. As traditionally, a mix of the Jupiter energies of tin and the Saturn energies of lead, pewter has the power, power of regeneration and protection. Pewter can also help us to accept our worldly responsibilities and have success in all we do. That's pewter. We got two more, honey. We're talking about platinum yet. This one here is what I want my net and my ring to be. I told I done told my husband my 10 year, um, our 10 year wedding anniversary. When I get my upgrade, I want a platinum as the element. That's what I want. Set in platinum. <laughs> he probably, he probably looked me in the house with crazy. Mm -hmm. So platinum is under the water and the earth element. It's under the moon and Saturn planets. And platinum is not used often in magic, but it is said to have similar qualities to both lead as well as silver. Without the toxicity of lead, it is considered a wise metal that can help you see both into the past as well as into the future. Mm. Strong metal. And last but not least, we're talking about zinc. Zinc is under the air element and it is under the planetary mercury as well as Uranus. And zinc is a metal that bolsters the immune system and helps regulate the signals within the body, particularly the electrical and mag uh, magical impulses. Worn as jewelry or taken as a supplement Zinc can help reduce excess nervous energy. Other metals are associated with the outer planets in astrology, but due to, to their dangerous radioactivity, it is impossible to obtain and dangerous to use. So do not use zinc as a metal. If you use zinc, take it as a supplement, okay? Uranus is associated with uranium. Neptune corresponds with neptunium and Pluto with plutonium. We simply include this occult um, information to help witches better understand the volatile and radioactive power that zinc can have. And that's a quick note under there. And one thing I wanted to back up to on my copper bracelets. I mean, I did a video. If you go, guys go back to um, or search for my copper bracelet review video, totally, totally true. How it ener they energized me um, when I first got them. I put them on. I, well, I cleansed them first and then I put them on. And all day that day, I had so much energy. And I usually tire out quick because I had surgery. But when I have energy and I can, when I, it's time, I have a lot of energy. It was more of 
a plugging up okay like plugging up your phone type energy i had more than an abundance of energy when i've had those when i put those bracelets on so i recently took them off i put them on my altar to charge a lot my husband puts his um bracelets on the altar we charge our bracelets most of the time at night i have a window in front of my altar and at night the moon shines that way where i live and it shines on the jewelry and i my altar is charged of course it's a working altar so we charge our jewelry on the altar most of the times our bracelets and things of that nature so put your bracelets on your altar and charge them or put them outside under the new moon on a full moon let them charge up and then put them on the next day and have fun be energized but take in what type of um crystal you have or what kind of stone you have or what kind of um bracelet and what it's made out of so you'll know what type of energy it will be giving you okay so i hope you guys like this video i am doing some videos tonight and i'm doing things that i had already planned on doing and this one here was on metals i had everything ready i just sometimes i just have to find the energy to do my videos and i got it now tonight i mean i wonder if any of my medals gave me that that boost honey i don't know but my husband wants to watch a movie tonight um later on but we off this weekend i'm like we got all weekend today is friday what's today thursday we got friday saturday we going back home to see my grandma, I got to take some candles down there. Some people want to purchase some candles. That's about a two-hour drive. We're doing that Saturday. Tomorrow, we're going to do our little running around to the grocery store and things of that nature. My husband loves to go with me, which that is such a blessing. Because a lot of men, which, you know. They don't like to go to shopping with their wives or their significant others. But my husband does. And I'm greatly, I greatly, greatly love it. It's the time where we just spend time together. And we just, we at the hip. That's how it's supposed to be. We like, yeah, we go shopping together. We do the list together. He be like, baby, we need to write down where we got to go. Get this over with. We try to go once every two weeks or something go out big shopping and then you know when we both are off we try to go out together and that's how we do it spend time by going shopping i mean it's the little things right right all right guys so hopefully i'll be back with another video tonight I am uploading a couple of different videos and if you like my channel please like subscribe and support i have to learn how to say that okay if you like this video please like subscribe and support my channel it will be greatly appreciated give me some thumbs up please make sure you hit the notification bell just in case i upload a video and i don't want you to miss it Go to my site, visionsbybasori.com. If you need anything botanical or in the occult, I offer all the raids of different items. Come join my private Facebook page if you feel the notion to, where I teach you how to work some magic. And I'm the tutress of uh, Visions by Vasori, the Vortex. Come join me on Patreon if you want to support. All my links are linked in the bio. All right, guys, peace and blessings to you. And as always, I love y'all. Bye. Talk to y'all later.